From the land down under, with the rock at its centre, comes the little Aussie watchman. On T-Law today, communism rears its ugly head in America. Communism in practice is quite different to communism in theory. Communism in practice practices lies, subjugation and in the end of violence. Both in China and Russia, communism began with brutal and vicious violence of the few against the majority. Communism as a theory is bankrupt because its foundation is atheism. Therefore, there are no rules, no rights, no wrongs. The ends always justifies the means. Thankfully, communism in Russia and China have reshaped themselves, and especially in Russia, the community has recognised that Christianity, or at least the Christian worldview, is foundational for peace, prosperity and freedom. Where did communism raise its ugly head in the US, do you ask? The 12th of March 2016 marks the inauspicious date where once again communism begins to take root within another great nation. Like a cancer, it grows with malice, carrying fear and destruction. Not content with over 70 million dead Chinese and 60 million dead Russians, communism finds a new continent of willing malcontents to carry out its violence and its death marches. The 12th of March 2016 is the day the communists stopped a Donald Trump rally in Chicago, saying they hate because of hate, saying they're excused to be violent because of somebody else's beliefs, It won't be long before they will kill in the name of their religion. That has always been the end product of atheistic communism. They are the ones that hate, and they are the ones that kill. How many Trump supporters have been at Bernie's or Hillary's campaigns in order to stir up trouble? Few to none. Why? Because this type of hatred is only exhibited by those who hate, those who have no foundation for right or wrong, who have been fooled by the devil whose consciences have been seared, whose future will be damned if they do not find Christ. Freedom of speech is an anathema to those who want to bulldoze their worldview on the rest of humanity. Freedom of speech allows arguments to be won and lost on the basis of logic and reason, not fear and violence. This flies in the face of those who cannot accept other people's opinions, especially when those opinions carry a Christian worldview. Christianity, that is real or biblical Christianity, has now been redefined by the American communist as hate speech. Those who hate Christianity have the support of the American mainstream media. Already we hear the media vindicating the violence done against Trump and his campaign. They say it is Donald Trump's fault, blaming the victim, another favourite tactic of the communist. This is one of the similarities between communism and Islam. Blaming the victim, the end justifies the means, and if peaceful takeover fails, resort to violence. are all such similarities. Even other Republicans are blaming Trump for the anti-Trump protesters. This dangerous precedent will only embolden the wicked as they seek to spread their twisted beliefs by force and not by debate. Judgment comes upon America in many forms. Communism may be one of the nails in the coffin for the late great America. Dmitry Dudeman, a prophet from Romania to America, who is now dead, claimed that there will be an internal revolution within America started by the communists. He claimed that during the time when America is trying to control this rioting, Russia and its allies will strike America and destroy it. When this prophecy was made in the 1980s, it would have been very hard to imagine such a thing could ever happen in the US. But as we see the day approaching, it is becoming very obvious that communism, under the guise of socialism or progressivism, has its eyes set on America. Its teeth are ready and its stomach is hungry for blood. Satan is once again trying to kill and destroy en masse. May the Lord save those who cry out to him.